Everyone swears they're using the best AI, but here's the truth. Most people pick their sidekick based on hype, not results. They're overspending, underperforming, and flat out missing the features that could 10 times their business. So are you really using the right AI or just the loudest one? Hey everyone, I'm Jake Dawson, and I've spent the past two years in the trenches testing these tools, dropping over $3,000 of my own money on premium subscriptions, and running hundreds of real-world business experiments. And what I found is this, ChatGPT and Gemini aren't just different, they excel in completely opposite ways. Today, I'm breaking down the 10 business scenarios that will show you exactly which AI deserves your $20 and which one that you can safely skip. No fluff, no sponsorship bias, just honest results from someone who tested both in real business situations. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which AI sidekick will actually save you time and money and which one might be holding you back. All right, before we jump into the actual battle, let's make sure we're clear on what we're comparing here. These aren't just two chatbots tossing words back and forth. They're built on two completely different ideas of how AI should work. ChatGPT, built by OpenAI, is like having a super creative buddy who actually remembers stuff about you. It feels conversational, almost human, and it gets better the more that you use it. You tell it your writing style, your project, your preferences, and over time, it's like it knows you. That memory feature makes it feel less like software and more like a partner that grows with you. Now, Gemini, on the other hand, is Google's version of AI, and it's more like having the smartest research assistant on speed dial. It's plugged directly into Google's world, so it's all about integration and pulling in the freshest information. While ChatGPT is trying to be your creative sidekick, Gemini is trying to be your ultimate search tool that fits into everything you already use from Google. Both of them cost around 20 20 bucks a month for their premium plans, uh, ChatGPT Plus and Gemini Advanced. But the way that $20 plays out is totally different depending on how you work. Here's where most AI comparisons get it totally wrong. Everyone's out here asking these tools to write a poem or spit out the capital of France. And that's not actually how you use AI in business. Nobody's paying 20 bucks a month to have their chatbot write them a haiku about tacos. So I decided to flip the script and take a real world approach. I spent three months using both ChatGPT and Gemini for the kind of work that we actually do every single day. I had them analyze documents, build out marketing campaigns, debug code, dig into competitor research, and even help manage ongoing projects. Basically, I treated them like they were a part of my team. I kept detailed logs of everything, response times, accuracy, and how often I had to reprompt, and which outputs worked better for different types of projects. For example, in email marketing, ChatGPT kept giving me punchy subject lines and casual copy that felt human, while Gemini leaned more structured and data-driven, perfect for professional audiences. I also ran them through customer service tests. I dropped in the same support tickets and had each draft responses. ChatGPT nailed the tone, friendly, helpful, conversational. Gemini, on the other hand, pulled up the right docs fast and built responses that solved multiple parts of the problem at once. And here's the big thing most reviewers don't even look at, workflow integration. It's not just about which AI gives the prettier answer, it's about which one actually fits into your work without slowing you down or creating more steps. Let me give you a real world example. I tested both AIs on a client project where I needed a full content marketing strategy for a SaaS startup. We're talking market research, competitor analysis, content creation, the whole package. So with ChatGPT, I fed it the client brief and my usual strategy framework. And thanks to memory, it remembered my past projects and built on that right away. It suggested blog ideas in my style, social hooks in my brand voice, and even recalled that this client liked data-driven posts over fluffy motivation. Gemini came at it from the opposite angle. It pulled in live competitor data, checked what they were publishing on Google, and even flagged trending keywords that were on the rise. It built out competitor profiles in real time, while ChatGPT leaned more on patterns from its training. The end result? ChatGPT delivered a strategy that felt more personalized and brand consistent. And Gemini delivered one that was more current and data-backed. 
Both were valuable, but for totally different reasons. Another piece I measured that nobody talks about is context retention. When you're working on something big that stretches across multiple sessions, how well does the AI remember the details? Can it pick up where you left off? Or does it feel like starting from scratch every time? That's where you start to see some pretty major differences between these two. And finally, I ran them through different integration tests. If you're already living in Google Workspace, or maybe you're deep into Slack or Microsoft Office, which one plugs in smoother? The answers here might not be what you'd expect. And here's the real test. I asked Gemini to prep me for a client meeting. It checked my calendar, pulled the shared Google Drive folder, summarized the recent email threads, and even created a new agenda doc with the right permissions, all in about 30 seconds. To do the same thing with ChatGPT, I'd need to manually copy information from multiple sources, upload files separately, and then ask it to synthesize everything. The end result might be just as good, but it takes five times longer. Bottom line is this, I didn't just toss them random questions and call it a review. I put these AIs to work in real business situations for months. What I found will change the way that you look at AI tools completely. Let's start with content creation because that's the bread and butter for most people watching. In my tests, ChatGPT crushed it when it came to creative writing, social media posts, and storytelling. It naturally adds emojis, writes hooks that pop, and just has that conversational tone that connects with people. Gemini, on the other hand, leans more into structured and professional. It's great if you're writing formal business documents or something that needs a polished corporate voice. So the winner here really depends on your brand voice. Do you want casual and fun or buttoned up and professional? Now, here's where it gets really interesting. I tested them both on the same blog post brief for a cybersecurity company. ChatGPT wrote something that sounded like it came from a human expert with personal anecdotes and conversational transitions. And Gemini wrote something that read like it was researched by a PhD and fact-checked by about three lawyers. Both were good, but for different audiences and purposes. Now, coding. From my experience, ChatGPT takes the win here. It gave me cleaner code, better UI suggestions, and explained things in plain English instead of drowning me in jargon. Debugging felt way smoother too. But here's what's interesting. Gemini has a monster of a context window, which means it can handle way larger code bases than ChatGPT. So if you're working on something massive, Gemini might have the edge. But for most small to medium projects, ChatGPT feels easier to work with. I put this to the test with a React app that I was building. ChatGPT walked me through it piece by piece, building components, explaining as it went, and spotting bugs right from the error messages. It even suggested cleaner ways to structure the code so it's easier to maintain. Gemini felt more academic. It scanned my entire code base at once, something ChatGPT couldn't do, and it flagged architecture issues I'd overlooked. It spotted redundant functions and security gaps and performance bottlenecks that ChatGPT also missed because it was zoomed in on individual components. Research is where Gemini takes over. It's directly connected to Google search means it's pulling in the freshest info available. I'd ask for the news that broke earlier that day and Gemini had it ready. ChatGPT, sometimes it felt like I was asking my uncle who hadn't read the news in months. So if real-time info matters to you, Gemini is your go-to here. I tested this with stock market research. I asked them both to analyze Tesla's recent performance and investment outlook. ChatGPT gave me a decent general analysis, but it was basically months out of date. Gemini pulled live stock prices, the latest earnings report, and analysis upgrades from that very morning. For investment decisions, that's the difference between profit and loss. Now, for image analysis, ChatGPT surprised me. I threw in a picture of my messy handwritten notes and it not only read them, but it turned them into a clear to-do list. That's useful. Gemini, meanwhile, was more like a tour guide describing the picture instead of doing anything practical with it. So if you actually want insights that you can use, ChatGPT is the stronger choice here. I tested this extensively with business documents. I uploaded photos of whiteboard sessions for client meetings. ChatGPT read my messy handwriting, got the context, and turned those whiteboard scribbles into clean project plans with timelines and deliverables. It even suggested which tasks to prioritize based 
based on the urgency marks I'd written. But here's where Gemini shines with images, that is. I uploaded screenshots of my Google Analytics dashboard, and Gemini could immediately spot trends, calculate growth rates, and even suggest which metrics to focus on. It picked up on data patterns ChatGPT sometimes just glossed over. Now, let's talk memory. This is where ChatGPT really stands out. It remembers your preferences, your projects, even your style. It's like that barista who knows your coffee order before you even say it. While Gemini maintains context well within conversation and through its Google Workspace integration, it doesn't have the same persistent cross-session memory that ChatGPT offers. That personalization is huge if you want AI that grows with you. On the workflow side, this one's simple. If you're living in the Google Workspace, Gmail, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Gemini is going to feel like home. The integration is seamless. ChatGPT does have broader third-party integrations, but you'll need to put some more time in to set up that. So the choice here really comes down to which ecosystem you're already in. Video generation is getting interesting with OpenAI Sora and Google's VO3. When available, VO3 produces the cinematic, smooth looking shots that feel polished. Sora, on the other hand, nails the realism in details, like if you want something that looks like a real life clip. But sometimes the full scene feels a little bit off. So think of it like this, Hollywood versus indie film. Both are impressive just different vibes. I tested both with product demo concepts for the same SaaS tool. VO3 looked like a polished tech keynote, smooth transitions, pro lighting, super clean. Sora's version felt more authentic, like someone was actually using the software, but it had little quirks in the UI. And finally, cost. On paper, they both cost 20 bucks a month, but the hidden costs can add up. With ChatGPT, if you're using the API or advanced features heavily, those costs can sneak up on you. With Gemini Advance, they throw in extras like Google One storage, which can actually make it a better deal depending on what you need. So even though the sticker price looks the same, what you actually pay in the long run can actually be very different. After months of testing these tools side by side, here's my honest take. There's no clear winner in this battle. And honestly, I know that's probably not the answer that most people want to hear, but it's the truth. ChatGPT is hands down the better choice if you're looking for a creative partner or a coding assistant. If you're a content creator, a copywriter, or even a developer who likes that personalized feel, ChatGPT's memory and conversational style make it feel more human. It doesn't just spit out text, it learns your voice, adapts to your project, and over time, it really does feel like you're working with a teammate who knows your style. Gemini, on the other hand, it shines when it comes to research and analysis. If you're a business professional, data analysis, or just someone who lives inside Google tools all day, Gemini is a powerhouse. Real-time search, massive context window, slick data visualization. It's like having a research assistant who never sleeps. So. Here's the real deal. The winner isn't the platform. The winner is you understanding your own needs and choosing based on that. Don't get sucked in by the marketing hype or brand loyalty. It's not about who has the flashiest ads. It's about which one actually saves you time and helps you get work done. My recommendation, don't overthink it. Try them both for a month. Use ChatGPT when you need to write, create, or code, and use Gemini when you need to research or have data analysis or smooth Google integration. After a few weeks, you'll feel which one naturally fits your workflow. And that's the one that's going to give you the best return on your 20 bucks a month. And hey, if you end up just loving both, join the club. I use both almost daily for different things. It's like having two tools in your toolbox. Sometimes you need a screwdriver, sometimes you need a hammer. The smart move is knowing which one to pick up at the right time. Look, I really wanna hear from you on this one. Are you team GPT or team Gemini? And what's the one task that made you stick with that choice? Drop it in the comments below. I read every one and I actually feature the best insights in future videos. So don't be shy there. And again, if you want to go deeper, with other people testing, troubleshooting, and sharing their workflows, I've got a private school community where I share templates and walk people through setting up these kind of tools and automations step-by-step. Step. It's a friendly group and new folks are joining every week. So check that out in the link in the description below. And look, if this breakdown helped you feel clearer about where to spend your 20 bucks each month, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. I'm always testing new AI tools, cutting through the hype, and giving you honest reviews so you can make smarter decisions for your business without wasting time or money. Next week, I'm tackling something that you will not want to miss. Hey, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. 
Oh, and before you click away, here's another video you'll probably want to watch next filled with more automation gold to help you crush it with AI. I'll see you there. Right there.